The U.S. and South Korea launched four missiles off the east coast of the Korean Peninsula on Wednesday morning local time, according to South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff. Early Tuesday, South Korean and U.S. Air Force planes conducted military drills in response to North Korea's latest missile launch, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre confirmed. To showcase combined deterrent and dynamic strike capabilities while demonstrating our nation's bilateral, uh, uh, bilateral interoperability. Uh, we will continue to coordinate the immediate and longer-term response uh, bilaterally, trilaterally, uh, with the Republic of Korea and with the international communities. Pyongyang tested an intermediate-range ballistic missile Tuesday, believed to be the latest version of one shown at a recent military parade. It has a range of 4,600 kilometers, further than previous missiles. It was launched towards Japan instead of vertically, flying over the country in the first such incident in five years, prompting a warning for residents to shelter. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida spoke with U.S. President Joe Biden Tuesday. The ballistic missile firing by North Korea was an outrageous act that was absolutely impermissible. We will respond as soon as possible with the utmost vigilance. Observers say the launch is likely Pyongyang's reaction to the recent U.S., Japan and South Korea military exercises, the first since 2017. Aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan arrived in Busan, South Korea last month ahead of the show of force. The Biden administration said it's committed to defend its allies, but open to dialogue. North Korea also launched several short-range ballistic missiles last week during U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris' visit to South Korea and the demilitarized zone.